for steel plastic hypoplastic uh, procedures, we want to make sure that we are uh, sharpening up the end plates uh, before, uh, and also making sure we're at the right level. Of course, uh, we want to make sure that uh, the end plates are sharpened both on the AP and lateral, and we have, have both those views here. Uh, we're looking at getting at the L2 vagal body. So as you can see, the L2 uh, uh, level is not sharpened at this point. Picture. 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 So let's go a little bit uh, cranial tilt. And we're going to be displaying today a transpedicular approach, Jens. Uh, picture. A little more cranial tilt. Uh, I'm identifying right now the uh, pedicle. So one thing particular to, to note is that when doing a tuberoplasty or tuberoplasty type of uh, procedure, you want to make sure you are not uh, transgressing the medial cortex of the pedicle uh, before you're actually hitting the posterior uh, cortex of the vertebral body on the lateral. Okay, and we'll note that in a little bit here. But Picture. That's a little more cranial tilt. Let's sharpen that end plate at L2. We have the, we have the end plate sharpened on the lateral, and now I try to attempt that with the, uh, with the AP. Let's try a little uh, caudal tilt now. Yeah. Picture, go live. And the blow, blow that level up now. Stop there. Picture. Go live now, remember? I plan a setup is a Victor, really good thing. And lock it there, please. Yeah. And the uh, magnet times one on the AP. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. Great. So we identified the left pedicle at L2. Uh, we're entering with the tran introducer, the Cynthia's introducer here. Picture. Picture here. And we're targeting the superior lateral portion of the pedicle. So one of the approaches that we can take is actually down in the on-face uh, approach or transpedicular uh, or oblique view. Uh, let's go oblique towards me on the low. Glenn, are you using a bevel tip or a diamond we're, tip? We're now using a diamond tip. Why uh, is that? And I like to use a diamond tip because you're able to cut into the bone uh, quite easily. Uh, and Whereas I would change to a bevel tip if I find I need to change the orientation to more superior or inferior uh, orientation. Picture? Picture? Let's get a lateral, please. Yeah. Picture? Okay. Picture? There we go. So we're lucky to have a lateral at the same time. Uh, and as you can see, we have a good trajectory for the needle. Picture there. Picture. 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 And hammer, please. A lot of times we're using the hammer. Uh, and patients who are quite osteoporotic, you have to be quite careful, making sure you're not so hammering too aggressively. I think you can imagine what can happen if you do. Picture. Glenn, what are you aiming for? The middle of the body and a little bit down? So right now, I am aiming uh, for the middle of the body. Picture, and lateral, please. So I can see on the lateral, I, uh, the trajectory is, is is online for the medial middle portion of the of the vertebral body. Picture again, and I'm just changing the uh, orientation of the needle tip to make sure I get to that portion of the vertebral body. So a lot of times it really depends on where the fracture is. Yeah, and and in this instance, uh, the, the you know, both the superior end plate and inferior pl end plate uh, affected. Picture. Can you Live, please. Can you guys brighten up your lateral? It's very dark. And AP, please. So, 
Picture here. Glenn. Glenn. The lateral, please. Glenn, can so, you lighten up? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Can you lighten up the lateral? Oh, uh, you can get a lighter view on the lateral. Yeah, we're working on it right now. Is that better, Jens? Yes, thank you. Picture there. So as you can see on the uh, oblique view there, I was coming close to the medial cortex there, and which I try, you want to stay away from, especially before on the lateral entering or hitting the posterior cortex of the vertebral body. Picture there. So I want a more of, of a down the pedicle uh, approach. Pedicle, picture. Picture. Live. And lateral, please. AP. And lateral. Thank you. And AP. Lateral. Go live. Live. Picture. So it now, now we're well away from the medial portion of the pedicle. Lateral. 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 So you're very quick, careful, making sure you're not you're staying away from that medial portion. Picture. And now we just entered, and now we're, you're still nicely away, or just touching the medial cortex of the pedicle there. Picture there. Live on the, live on the lateral. I'm trying to get a little bit more. At this point, you might want to change over to a beveled tip to get more of an inferior trajectory. I mean, lower the table or, or a little tip. Allowing the introducer to dive more inferiorly, picture. Picture, picture. And you would not do this in a burst fracture, right? Picture. Glenn? Yes. You yes. would not do this in a burst fracture, I would right? not do that in a burst fracture, no. Picture. Yeah. Picture. Okay, I've got a view here. Picture. Picture. Lateral. Oh, it's not really... Sorry, back. Get a little, a little better... Uh, Trajectory here, picture. 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 Live. Picture. Now allowing it to dive a little bit more inferiorly there. Let's go to AP view. Let's go oblique towards you. Go live, guys. We're just checking the uh, how far immediately we're able to get now, Jens. Can you guys darken the AP a little bit? It's a little bit. Uh, Lighten up a little bit, please, with the AP. No, the AP needs to be darkened. Darkened. Darkened, okay, darkened. Thank you. Opposite. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. A little better, Jens? Much better. Nice. Okay, good. So at this point, we can use the uh, access drill to help provide some room or cavity or some area for the balloon to exist. Picture. Lateral, please.
live, guys? A AP in lateral? AP? AP? Picture? 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 Okay. So we didn't get as far uh, medial as we would like to. They also have a, a nitinol articulating device. Hey, look at the table. Thanks, guys. That allows one to get across the retail body picture there picture picture live on the AP uh, on lateral please Live and lateral, and on on the uh, AP. Let's provide some uh, medial carry creation yens to get across uh, more adequately quickly uh, across the uh, retial body. So we're getting ready for the use of, of the balloon device. And we are making sure that I'm doing a few things in terms of, of, of creating the cavity, making sure we're uh, staying away from the cortex, cortical wall of the teal body, and make sure we're not going beyond the 440 PSI of the balloon. Picture there. Lateral, please. As you can see, there's the, the markers that allow you to know whether or not you're adequately past the introducer to make sure that the balloon can inflate. Picture there. Lateral, I mean AP. So in this, in this instance, we probably need to get access the uh, vertical body on both sides, but we'll just do the one side in this instance, Jens, okay? Absolutely. So, that's live on both. We're inflating the balloon right now. As you can slowly watching, making sure that we're staying away from the cortical walls, keeping an eye on the pressure. As you can see, it's getting the vicinity of the left lateral vertical wall. And right now we're at the uh, 160 uh, PSI right now. Again, Glenn, what's the purpose of the balloon? Is it to elevate fractures? Uh, how often do you get the fracture elevator? Is it more to contain the cement? It'll probably get more, but uh, the uh, fracture uh, elevating uh, uh, more so in terms of making sure it, when it's closer to the actual fracture uh, um, incident. Uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, the actual balloon itself, uh, majority of the times it's mainly just to create the cavity for the cement to be uh, deposited. Great. Are you ready for the cement now? Are you, uh, I'm just deflating the balloon. Five. There we go. Force. Okay. There we go. Is the cement ready? Lateral, please. Okay, so introducing the cement. How many cc's do you use and what do you do with the introducer? Do you pull it back? I find that we, to get a relief of the pain, 
and, you know, we want to make sure that you're not um, introducing more than, uh, for this balloon itself, no more than five uh, milliliters of the polymethyl methacrylate. But in terms of obtaining pain relief, finding anywhere from two to three cc's of, uh, of cement is required, actually. Go ahead, lateral. Live, please. Whilst you're doing this, I'm going to give the microphone to Mark. Glenn, I'm going to give the microphone to Mark. He's just going to tell us a little about the Noridian indications. Please, go ahead. Yeah, so as a result of the, um, a lot of the papers that came out late uh, first decade, um, and Kalmus and Buchbinder's papers specifically, uh, Medicare, through UHC, and Noridian, and other providers really went that the fractures have to be a recent fracture. That's defined as anywhere between 10 weeks and 16 weeks has to be intractable pain in spite of non-operative measures. And they actually even put a VAS score, um, UHC has, of uh, 7 out of 10. The um, you can't do it in metastatic disease or it doesn't fit the Noridian criteria. And of course, it has to be less than three levels because the embolic phenomenon with, three, with more. How much, how much would you inject? They push you to do it at a, in an outpatient center, not in hospital. Three, six, um, but those are the, the two important there. points. What about Thank you, Mark. So we're at three cc's right now, Jens. Uh, it's staying well contained within the left portion of the teal body. Uh, have some interdigitation occurring with the actual uh, on the scene on the lateral, but also on the uh, AP views. Uh, I would be satisfied with this uh, amount of cement in this portion of the teal body. Uh, there's no extravasation occurring uh, dorsally or ventrally. Um, uh, unfortunately, we're not, we weren't able to, to uh, apply the unipredicular approach in this instance, uh, but in this instance, we'd, we'd go to the other side and approach it from the bipredicular, the other uh, pedicle as well. Mm -hmm.